gentlemen, Family Feud is proud to present its traditional battle between the gruesome gladiators of World Championship Wrestling and the amazing Amazons of Glow, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. In this corner, the World Championship Wrestlers, Kevin Sullivan, Sid Vicious, Steele, Tony Giovanni, and Dirty Dutch Mantel. Ready for action. They'll be going to man. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Do you feel the excitement in this room today? It is a shooting extravaganza. We have the WCW men headed right now by Sid Vicious. There you go. Nice round of applause. They'll be playing for the right to play for $5,000 for their favorite charity. Sorry, Mr. Vicious, the crowd seemed to be a little disrespectful. Who did you bring? What? I got Dirty Dutch Man Tail from Old Trough, Texas. It looks like he just took a shower. And he's also, he uh, helps commentate those uh, TV shows at WCW with the uh, number one TV man right there, Tony Savani. Well, who did you bring? Who, who's this? One half of Master Blaster Steel. Yes, and then And Tony. we got that crazy Kevin Sullivan. That's right! Yeah. The WCW men are playing for a wonderful charity. You're playing for the Starlight, Starlight Foundation. Foundation. For the terminally ill children. Right? Yeah. A wonderful charity should they win. But if they win is the key word. They'll have to defeat the Lone. Right now, Sid Vicious against Hollywood. First team to 300 will play for the 5,000. We ask 100 people this first question. Woo. All right. Top six answers are on the board. Try to find the most popular answer. To this question. Thank you, Steele. Here we go. <laughs> Name something you usually do after eating a big meal. Sid? Brush your teeth. He says he brushes his teeth. It's not there. Hollywood. Stay right here, Sid. Name something you usually do after eating a big meal. Six answers give you control. Put a toothpick, do the toothpick deal. All right, do the toothpick deal. That's in the bathroom. Stay here, Sid. Don't say a word. Shh, quietly, quietly. Shh, shh. Stay here, Sid. Dirty, here's the question. Name something you usually do after eating a big meal. Uh, I'll watch TV. Let me see. Television. It's there, but don't move. Don't move. Stay here. I'm going to the farmer's daughter. Two answers will give you control. Something you usually do after eating a big meal. Quickly. Exercise. Show me... Exercise. Not there. You think of a steel Hollywood. Nicely done, uh, Dirty. Good job, Sid. About coffee. After a, after eating a big meal. Coffee. One strike. Now, right now, I'm going to ask for calm on this stage. There's only eight dollars, gentlemen. I know how badly you want to win this, so just think so you can get some points. Number one is there, Tony. Something well, you usually do. If you can tell by my girth, it probably would be go to sleep. Sleeping. Number yeah! one. <laughs> Good job. Kevin, we put some money in the bank now. $61. Something you usually do after eating a big meal. Smoke. Okay. Perhaps smoking. There it is. Isn't that bank? It's $66. Sid Vicious, keep it rolling. Three, three have seconds. dessert. Have dessert. After eating a big meal, Sid says he has dessert. They are taunting you, Sid. Dirty, if you don't give me an answer, the glow women are going to try to steal $66. This is a big, big meal. I imagine. It, it's a big meal. Uh, go to the bathroom. Oh, how Only Dirty Dutch would say that as soon as he finishes eating, he goes to the bathroom. Sixty-six dollars up for... Name something specific you would see in every old-time Western movie. Dirty Dutch? Cowboys. Let me see a cowboy. Number five, four answers give you control. Something specific you would see in every old-time Western movie. Horses. What? Horses. Okay. She said... Horses. Let me see. <laughs> Number one. Think of a steal. Something specific. You would see in every old-time Western movie, Kevin? Saloon. Saloon. Saloon's mine, Saloon. too. Steal? Yeah, that's it. Saloon's All right, dirty. Stay coach. All right. It's up to you, Sid. With them or out on your own? What are you going to say? Saloon. Three Saloons. Seconds. You have stolen the women's bank. If we see... 
a saloon. Yes, sir. Ring. The WCW takes the bank. Jackie? Hello, women? One answer would have kept your bank. Number four. In an old-time Western movie, you see... Barroom Brawl! We're coming right back with this question. Name something you pour on food. Steel? Milk. Let me see. Milk. It's there, but four answers beat it, Jackie. Something, name something you pour on food. What kind of food? Food that you would eat. Uh... All right, don't say anything. The men have control. Think of a steel. Here we go. Step over here, steel. Tony, the question. Name something you pour on food. Uh, I would say a cheese sauce. A cheese sauce. <laughs> Perhaps a cheese sauce. <laughs> Six dollars in the bank. Take it up, Kevin. Ketchup, ketchup, he ketchup. He says. Might be number one. Ketchup. Number two. Not such a bad question. Now, 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 don't get, don't Here we go, Sid. Something you pour on food. Syrup. Let me see syrup. Number three. Number one is there. Something that you pour on food, uh, dirty. Honey. Let me see. Thank you, Dirty, but if you could just answer the question. He says, honey. Oh, you got They're going to try to steal the bank. What do you say, Steel? Please spaghetti say yes. Sauce. Let me see spaghetti sauce. Uh, All right, can you steal $40? Something you pour on food, Godiva? Tony, against Liberty. Here we go. Liberty, would you settle down? I'll try. Lose the attitude. Here's the question. <laughs> Name something a man living on his own might ask his mother how to do around the house. Tony, quickly, vacuum. He said before the buzzer, vacuum. It is not there. Any answer? Something a man living on his own might ask his mother to do around the house. Clean. Let me see. Clean. There it is there. Think of a steel. Yes, his mom does so. Men close so. Men close, men close. Dirty Dutch. Quickly. Yes. No answer. Sewing. They're going with sewing. Show me. Sewing! It is never for fire. Good day, against Kevin. Both teams, listen carefully. We triple the dollar value. We will move very quickly. Top four answers are on the board. We ask a hundred people. Name something you would be sure to order when buying a new car. Good day, Stereo. Let me see stereo. It is number two. One answer, Kevin, gives you control. Something you'll be sure to order when buying a new car. Warranty. Let me see a warranty. <laughs> Not there. Think of a steal. Here we go. Hollywood, you can win the game. Okay. You would order a... Answers, they will win the game. Something you'd be sure to, to order when buying a new car, Kevin. Air conditioning. Air conditioning? That's it. Air conditioning? Air conditioning. Air conditioning. You, air conditioning. you are still alive if we see air conditioning. You have got that. It comes over here. Two answers would have won you the game, girls. You should order number three. Cruise control. control. Number four. Six shifts, right? Yeah. Four. Oh, yeah. Here we go with another face-off. Let's go right now. Steel against Hollywood. We took the dollar value. This is a different game. First team to 300 wins the game. It is a feud. The top four answers are on the board. Name something that bees do. Hollywood. They make honey. Let me see honey. Number one, you think of a steal. Something bees do. Kevin? Pollinate. Quiet. Shh, shh, get over there. They do what? Pollinate? Tony? Doesn't know. Steal? Doesn't know. Swarm. Swarm? Quickly, Sid, one answer. We'll win you this game. What is it? Now. They Three seconds. Three they seconds. Swarm. If Swarm is not there, the Glow Women are the champions. Show me Swarm. <laughs> One answer would have won you the game, gentlemen. Bees do number four. Pollinate. Who said that? Kevin said pollinate. Sid did not go with it. I need two players right now for $5,000. Who's first? You first? Come on. Good idea.